Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a little guessing game in C. This is gonna be pretty cool because we're gonna use a lot of the stuff that we've learned up to this point in the course in order to build it. So let's get started. Basically, this guessing game is going to allow the user to guess a secret number. So we're gonna define a secret number and we're gonna give the user the opportunity to try and guess it. So if they'll try to guess it, if they get it right, then they'll win the game. And if they don't get it right, then we'll let them guess again, right? So we'll basically let them keep guessing what the secret number is until they get it. So down here, we want to create a couple variables. The first variable I wanna create is gonna be an integer and it's gonna be the secret number. So I'm just gonna call it secret number. And why don't we just set it equal to five? The next variable we want to create is gonna store the user's guess. So this is also gonna be an integer and I'm just gonna call it guess and I'm not gonna give it a value yet because right off the bat, the user wouldn't have guessed a number. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to prompt the user to enter in the number until they get it right. So as long as the user hasn't entered in the correct number, we wanna keep asking them to enter it in. In order to do that, in order to like keep asking them to enter it until they've guessed it, we can use something called a while loop. So I'm just gonna type while, and I'm gonna make an open and closed parentheses and an open and closed curly brackets. Let's think about a good condition for our game. Basically, we wanna keep asking the user to enter an input as long as they haven't guessed the secret number. So it's right there. We could keep looping as long as the guess is not equal to the secret number, right? And basically this is always gonna be true until they guess the correct number. Now inside of here, we want to prompt them to enter their guess and then we wanna take whatever they enter and store it inside of our guess variable. So let's do this first. We'll say printf and I'm just gonna say enter a number. And then down here, I'm gonna use scanf in order to get whatever number they enter and I'm gonna store it inside of that guess variable. So I'm just gonna say at guess and this is gonna take whatever number, whatever integer they enter, and it's gonna store it inside of our guess variable. So basically what's happening in this loop is every time through the loop we're getting a different number, and then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna check to see if it's equal to the secret number. If it's not, then we're gonna go through again and we're gonna keep doing this. But if the guess is equal to the secret number, then we'll break out of the loop, and that means we'll be down here, so I'm just gonna print out a success message and I'll basically just say like, hey, you win. All right, awesome. So you can see this isn't actually that many lines of code. I mean, it's probably like 10 lines of code to write out this whole thing. And it looks like everything's set up. So this should actually work properly. So let's try to run this and we'll see if we can guess the secret number. So remember, secret number is five. So I'm gonna run the program. It says enter a number. So let's just kind of botch the guesses two seven, eight, nine, three. So you'll notice I can keep entering in numbers and it'll keep prompting me to enter a number as long as I haven't guessed it correctly. So now let's type in five and remember five is the secret number. And when I click enter now, that loop condition is gonna end up being false, right? Because the guess is gonna be equal to the secret number and it's gonna execute and it's gonna say, hey, you win, right? So we broke out of that loop we executed the print statement that said you win and the program terminated. And that is a really cool little game. So one of the cool things about this game and it's different from programs that we've written in this course in the past is it'll keep running essentially infinitely until we enter in that correct guess. So it's gonna keep going and keep going and keep asking us to do something and to enter in a value until we entered correctly. So this is pretty cool. Now this is a pretty nice game and it's it's pretty simple, but I want to maybe make it a little more complex. One of the things that sucks about our game right now is that the user gets unlimited guesses, right? So basically like they can just guess every single number and eventually they're gonna get it right, you know? Um, so why don't we do this? We should impose a guess limit. So why don't we say like the user can only guess three times and if they can't get the secret number in three tries, then they'll lose the game. So. Let's think about how we can go ahead and add that functionality into this little app. I'm gonna walk you guys through how we can do that. The first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to create some variables. Uh, I'm gonna create another variable up here and I'm just gonna call it guess count. And guess count is basically gonna tell us how many times the user has tried to guess the secret number. 
And I'm just gonna set this equal to zero because initially the user will have guessed zero times. So remember, this guess count variable is basically gonna get incremented every time they guess, right? So I'm gonna come down here. Every time we go through this loop, the user is guessing. So every time we go through this loop, I'm gonna increment the guess count. So I'm just gonna say guess count plus plus. And that means every time the user guesses, the guess count will get incremented and we'll have a accurate count of how many times the user has guessed. All right, the second variable that I wanna make is going to be another integer and I'm just gonna call it guess limit. And this is gonna tell us how many times the user can guess. So this will basically determine like how many guesses the user gets. So why don't we set this equal to three? I think three guesses is a pretty good limit. And finally, we wanna create one more variable. And this is also gonna be an integer and I'm just gonna call this out of guesses. And I'm gonna set out of guesses equal to zero. And out of guesses will basically tell us whether or not the user has any more guesses. And this might not be super clear what this is doing right now, but keep following the video and you'll see how this comes into play. This is actually gonna be really important. So we're actually gonna to have to modify our code a little bit. So down here, we have this set up so the user can keep guessing as long as the guess isn't equal to the secret number. But we wanna be able to limit the amount of times that the user can guess. And actually down here, I'm gonna create an if statement. And every time we go through this loop, I wanna check and see if the user has any more guesses left. I want to, in other words, I want to see if they've reached their guess limit or not. So I'm going to make an if statement and I'm going to check to see if the guess count is less than the guess limit. As long as the guess count is less than the guess limit, that means they haven't guessed as many times as the limit specifies. Basically, they can guess again, right? So down here inside of this if statement, I'm going to put all of this code and I'm just going to surround this with curly brackets. So basically, the user can only guess the number. This code will only get executed when the guess count is less than the guess limit, when the user has additional guesses, right? When they haven't guessed as many times as the limit specifies. Otherwise, though, so if they have guessed too many times, right, if the guess count is either equal to or greater than the guess limit, I'm actually going to set this out of guesses variable equal to one. So I'm going to say out of guesses is equal to one. And basically what this is gonna tell us is if out of guesses is greater than zero, then that'll tell us that the user is out of guesses. So essentially, if out of guesses has a value that's more than zero, we'll know that they've run out of guesses. And if you ever use any other programming languages before, this is what we would refer to as like a Boolean variable. It's basically storing like a true or a false value, which we're representing with zero or one. So if the guess counts less than the guess limit, they can guess again. Otherwise, we're gonna say out of guesses is equal to one. In other words, we're gonna say that they're out of guesses. There's one more thing we have to do though, is we have to come up here and we have to change this condition. Because right now we're gonna keep looping through this code as long as the guess is not equal to the secret number. But there's actually two situations where we want to break out of the loop. The first is when they've guessed the number correctly, right? Then we want to come down here and print out you win. But we also want to break out of the loop when they've run out of guesses. So I want to check to see whether or not they're out of guesses. So I'm going to say guess is not equal to secret number and out of guesses is equal to zero. So as long as out of guesses is equal to zero, that means that they're not out of guesses and they still have some guesses left. But if the guess counts less than the guess limit and out of guesses gets set equal to one, then out of guesses isn't gonna be equal to zero anymore. So we're gonna break out of the loop. So basically there's two scenarios now that will break us out of the loop. Either they get the word right or they run out of guesses. So one more thing we have to do in this program is come down here and you'll see down here, we're always printing out you win. So no matter what, like no matter what happens, we're printing out you win. And that's because before, if they made it down here, if they made it out of that loop, that means that they guessed the secret number correctly. But there's actually two scenarios down here where they would have broken out of the loop, where they're either out of guesses or they guessed the secret word. So I wanna actually check to see which one we're dealing with. So I'm gonna to check to see if out of guesses, and I'm gonna to check to see if it's equal to one. And if it's equal to one, 
that means that they lost and they ran out of guesses. So I'm just gonna say out of guesses. Otherwise though, it means that they won. So I'm gonna say you win. And this will basically be like, hey, you won the game. Awesome. So this is a lot of code, I know that. Um, and let's just run this, see how we did, and we'll see if our game's working properly, and then I'll kind of explain all the code to you guys. And actually, you know what, I just noticed a typo. Down here I said out of guesses double equals one. This is just gonna have to be a single equal. So we're assigning this a value. So yeah, that was a little typo. I had two equals, that needs to be one. So let's go over here, we'll run our program and it says enter a number. So why don't we try to lose the game? I'm just gonna say two, two, and now we're on our third and final guess. If I don't get it this time, that means we're gonna lose the game. So I'm gonna enter and you'll see it says out of guesses. So we weren't able to guess it within our three tries and the game told us that we lost. Let's run it one more time, we'll try to win. So I'll say like two, one. Now we're on our third and final guess. So if I don't get it this time, we're gonna lose. I'm gonna guess a five and we guessed right, so it's gonna tell us that we won. So that's sort of basically how this little program works. And I'm gonna walk you guys through one more time. So we have all these variables up here. Secret number is just storing the number they need to guess. The guess keeps track of what they're guessing each time. The guess count is gonna tell us how many times they've guessed the number. Guess limit is gonna tell us how many times they can guess. And out of guesses is going to tell us whether or not the user is out of guesses. So down here, we're checking two conditions for this while loop. We're checking to see if the guess is not equal to the secret number, and we're gonna keep looping as long as out of guesses is equal to zero. Every time we go through this loop, we check to see if the guess count is less than the guess limit. If it is, then we ask them to guess, we increment the guess count. Otherwise, we say out of guesses is equal to one, and that's gonna break us out of the loop. Down here, there's two situations. The first situation is that they ran out of guesses, the second situation is that they won the game and we're using this if statement to check both of those. So that's basically how this works. And this kind of shows you how we can use things like while loops and if statements and also variables together in like one single program. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.